Look who it is. What up? I'm back, guys. It's your maternal <laughs> unit's podcast of preference. Yes. The physics study group. Yes. We back again. Yes. It's been two. It's been two episodes, man. I Word. Really feel the same. Word, and the scene is, is a little lovelier than than it usually is. Yeah, it's kind of bright in here, Word. but we'll get to that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but to your usual fellows of preference, I don't know. <laughs> this is this is Flocka Zulu, aka Sir Blackstone the Third, aka Baraka Flocka, aka Hey, stop it! Wow, I just. Forgot Blank down on your AKA. Blank down on your AKA. AKA Pablo Escovich. <laughs> AKA. AKA. No more AKA. Stop the violence. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. It's your boy, Ice Black. AKA Black Down on my AKA Way Bixby. AKA Shabby Ranks. AKA Holy Pacaroaches. AKA Always Bet on Black. <laughs> AKA Afro Thunder. AKA Swiss Army Nigga. Swiss Army Nigga. Swiss army nigga, <laughs> Swiss army nigga, hold the last note. I had to start it. I could Yo, just jump in. Yeah, there. yeah. <laughs> you had to pick your spots. That's going to be a children's theme song, dog. Mm. With the nigga in it. Teaching oh, young anyway. niggas how to be multifaceted. Exactly. <laughs> Mom, I'm a Swiss army nigga. <laughs> <laughs> ah, boy. But it's your boy, Dramatic, <laughs> a.k.a. Loud Pack Chopper, a.k.a. Wave Chappelle, a.k.a. Wave McGrady, a.k.a. Malcolm Vex. Very. Love that one so much. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that might be the best one you've yes. ever had. Mm-hmm. And we have the lovely Tawana with us. Yes. Welcome. And welcome. I'm going to keep it simple because I don't know what y'all all got going on. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Tawana. Word. AKA just Tawana. Hey. Literally. All right. Thanks hey. for being keep on. Keep it simple. Yes, of course. Thanks for being Tawana. on. AKA just <laughs> Tawana. AKA. No confusion. Just. <laughs> Come on. All right, that's we got it. That's three different. That's three different AKAs right there. I can't Basically. deal with it. No, one AKA. <laughs> <laughs> she, yo, she's dead serious about yeah, it. She's, she's one AKA. Right, yeah. Sit the AK. That's gonna be. That's gonna be in, that's gonna yeah. be in the modeling contract. I Word. Only have one. 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 <laughs> so I wasn't here the last couple of episodes. What terrible story did you guys make up about me? Oh, that's. No, did we even forget? <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. We, yeah, it's we like you weren't here. You forgot baby. to forget. We. Wow. Yeah, we do Same. way too much drugs. Now, how you forget? Who's we? Who's we? Who? <laughs> <laughs> I got a resume out there, boy. <laughs> we we missed a couple good opportunities for some funny ass stories. Yeah, yeah true. Oh gosh, uh, darn well, it! Well, oh, Maybe next time. Oh, wow. <laughs> we, we was just like that nigga out there, nigga. Now we just catch <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah, that nigga will be back here, nigga, next week. Exactly. A nigga for eternity. <laughs> And oh, yeah, shout out to our last guest, Telly Tells. Word. That was a great episode. True, you true. You learned a lot of stuff. Word, word. That's how I know you ain't been for a while. It's been so long ago now. No, 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 it was. It was. It yeah, was she was here to, three episodes ago. Word. It wasn't yeah. three. It's episode 115. It was two. Word. But anyway. You know it's 2023 right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. But anyway, <laughs> I'm here now. And like you said, we have the lovely Just Tawana on here. So we're going to get into it and show you how... TPSG does a podcast. Oh, 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 okay. shit. That's a standard. It's a standard. That was it's a standard. That was I'm going to show you. It's a standard. Show you, <laughs> show you motherfuckers how to do a podcast. <laughs> Put on the Barry White voice. Word. Right, right. I'm going to show oh, you. Baby. Word. This, uh, this is going to sound so much better on the video. I'm going to show you how to do a podcast. Word. It's about to be a, a <laughs> master class on your ass. Step that. one. <laughs> but uh, that's a we bar, were, right? I'm gonna more, write that more, down. More, more like unsung. Word. I can that one. Word. I'm gonna hit that uh, button. You got one of those on like horribly eye. terrifying stories. Let me, let me in get the in the studio. One time. Oh God, so <laughs> many of those. But I'm um, just one. We were talking with you earlier. You're a model. I am. I am a full time model and personal stylist, wardrobe stylist. For okay. those who think personal styling is just standing next to somebody and just picking out stuff. I'm a wardrobe stylist as well. <laughs> what, oh. So what does that entail? Well, it has to do with the whole spectrum of fashion. Mm. So not only do I model, I also represent myself as a brand. And I literally wear the clothes a certain kind of way of how I express it to myself on a daily basis. Mm. So being being that you are um, a designer, mm-hmm. we're not not designer. Oh, yeah, that um, too, yeah. yeah. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all that, all that. Do you, do you sometimes get um, critical of what um, people might want to dress you in as a model? 
Never. Never. Hmm. Because hmm. you got to understand, models are professional hangers. Hmm. So Damn. we have... <laughs> Not, not to necessarily say that we have no say so. Mm. When they pick you as a model, they pick you because they have a vision, a creative vision of understanding this is who I want in my garment because they have a certain body type or facial figure or mm. um, their hair a certain kind of way. They have the vision. So you have to allow them to create that vision. And if you don't, you don't need to be in that world. Mm. That mm. makes sense. Yeah. It's, it's real simple. Either you're just going to keep it quiet and just put on the garment and walk out there. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying to walk out something that's too big for you. Clearly, it's obvious that designer didn't, you know, mm-hmm. have a fitting for you. I'm just saying to represent the brand as much as you possibly can because they want you to represent it. Right. Okay. Have, have you ever run into that issue where you were out in something you're like, ah, I didn't feel? Or is that? Yes. Mm. I said, hey, you sure? You sure? You all right? It put you in the weeds. Sure? Um, let me tweak it a little bit. We can tweak it together. <laughs> you know, so it's a team this, effort. <laughs> so all this was intentional. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, hey, maybe we should put this together this way. And they're like, oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. It's just um, you. It's how you approach it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's the way that you approach it and how they... They grasp it. Now, if they're like one of those people who's like, oh, no, it got to be like this. I'd be like, all right, mm-hmm. now, nah, this house going to look in the picture. Let's tweak it a little bit. Let's take a picture. Let's try to work it out that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. True, true. <laughs> so mm-hmm. it seems like it's real cut and dry. For me, it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, some models are not understanding. I'm a little bit more understanding. I'm a mm-hmm. Libra. Shout out to my Libra seasons. Okay. I know it's mm-hmm. Leo season. Yeah. Don't know many Libras. Y'all cool, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we cool. <laughs> now, how long have you been doing this? Um... Since I was 15. Oh, okay. Yeah, so on like and off. Season vet. Yeah, on and okay. off. So now I'm taking it a little bit more serious. By doing? Um, Branding myself the correct way. Got you. Yeah. And yeah. that's definitely this type of climate out here. Like if, you, if you're going to be doing... Continue, my bad. <laughs> Maybe he just wanted to touch you. <laughs> if that's the case, it's worse. I was, I was supposed to hit Paul. That didn't work. Let so me, let me see your elbow. <laughs> you so like your I was saying, head. it's very indicative of the society now you because if you're gonna be weenus, doing how do stuff feel? like that, mm-hmm. you know, you definitely have to brand yourself because you know sometimes at the end of the day, you know, you get fired, hired, you know, back and forth. Sometimes yeah. you have something to fall back on. Yeah, I have a broadcast journalism degree, so that's what I fall back on. Okay. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. yeah so, um, as long as nobody chops off my fingers, I can still write. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come look, look, um, look, they got talking text now. I mean, I've done I've done everything. I've done behind scenes as well as in front of the camera, anchoring, mm. reporting, producing, associate producing. I've been my camera woman, not man, camera woman. I've mm. done everything that you could possibly think of in that realm of broadcast journalism. Mm-hmm. Got you. So, Where'd you go to school for? I went to school for broadcast journalism at Florida a and University. Shout out to my resident. Hey, shout out to the HBCU. Yes. <laughs> word, word. It's just, it's just a pack of rattlers or just rattlers? It's just rattlers. Okay. Because yeah. I remember growing up. Don't put extra hey. stuff like y'all put y'all names. Pack of rattlers. AKA. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that's different. That's just, <laughs> we have enormous egos and we have to feed into it. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. that's all that is. Yeah, I feel so that's 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 pretty awesome. So you pretty much cover every aspect of, of the industry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, my dean, um, before he passed away, God rest his soul, um, he told me that as an African American, not only woman, but as an African American as a whole, you have to make sure that you dabble into every single thing, you touch every single thing and make yourself marketable mm-hmm. in order for you to project into the world the proper way right so if you only cater to one thing that does not make you marketable and accessible to other things that you have other people with different races who can basically step over you Mm -hmm. so i've done that throughout the years and thank thanking him for that because Mm -hmm. he taught me that within the broadcast journalism realm not only know how to write but also edit not only know how to edit but also be the videographer not only know how to do everything but do everything touch it at least once and try to not necessarily perfect it, but try to grasp the information so you're knowledgeable so you won't walk in and be intimidated. Right. Yeah, sounds like you dropped a lot of gems on you. I was, I was going to ask, yeah. like, did you get to this point or was it a slow build to these different avenues that you're... Well, I'm hard-headed. I'm a Libra. So, 
to be honest, it took a lot of trial and tribulations to mm-hmm. actually get to this, but with experience teaches knowledge mm-hmm. you know, Absolutely. and wisdom. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, you, a lot of the trial and errors that you have, you understand and learn that they're not mistakes. They are opportunities and choices, and the choice that you make come with consequences that you have to <laughs> go ahead and take. Absolutely. So as yeah, a, it's being a grown up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Accountability is a big thing. thing. Can I return a grown up? <laughs> <laughs> what <Shoot. laughs> do you see um do you see as many opportunities out there for black women in, in, in the modeling world as you as you might see for I actually do. Mm. Um is it in Miami? No. Mm. Mm. Is it in the United States? Yes and no. Um, I've been all over the world. I have been to Dubai. I've been to Germany. I've been to Milan. I've been to Italy. I've been to Rome. We're not going to keep going on the list. I've been to Alaska too. Y'all That's need it. to try right there. <laughs> it's really good. Right there is off the chain. Mm-hmm. But um, I've been overseas and I've been in Germany and I've been in Rome and Milan and they will gravitate to my complexion mm-hmm. before they gravitate to a person with a lighter complexion. Mm-hmm. Here they gravitate to the lighter complexion. It's the brand. You got to understand if you're going to go to um, the grocery store to buy clothes, you clearly know that there's no clothes sold in the grocery store. Nowadays, I don't know. Now, save a lot, Mike. <laughs> you know, different places buy, buy yeah. sell different things. Walmart, you know, you can sell everything. Like, yeah. But it's, it just depends. You got to figure out where you're going and which, what's the best option for you, what your market is within music, within acting, within everything. You know, it's acting, it's going to LA. You know, if it's fashion, it's going to New York. You know, if you're in Miami, it's more to very seductive maxim type stuff bait and suits type thing so what are you catering to as a person Mm -hmm. once you know that then the road is easy from there right wow but that's good encouragement you know encouraging people to take that leap because that's always the last thing stopping them like i don't want to move new york i don't want to move to la but if you don't want to go further then you know you're gonna go as far as you take yourself yeah and zeroing in on like or focusing in on like something in particular that you're into at least knowing Mm -hmm. yourself and knowing what you would enjoy doing too right you got to understand because the road is going to be hard if you keep trying to go somewhere that doesn't accept you Mm -hmm. or doesn't have that thing for you so it's kind of up that's gonna be a short yeah it is i promise you you just gotta understand like it's a lot of places that you go to, like if you're looking for a job and you bring your resume and you're like, dang, I know I qualify for this job and it just doesn't work out. That's not where you belong. Mm-hmm. There's things why, there's reasons why your doors are closed in your face and you have to mm-hmm. figure out as a person, which route are you going to take? Maybe that's not your purpose or that's not your route to right. take at that point in time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely watching life universe god whatever you all out there mm-hmm. want to call it in internet land <laughs> um it's really like what you're saying paying attention to what's in front of you the situations that are happening the way your do- those doors are closing yeah. and then evaluating afterwards so that's a, that's a great piece of advice like do you have any other types of advice though like say for maybe like a black or brown person who does see a lot of denial from say different agencies or the industry Cause I'm sure that's something that occurs. Still. Yeah, I still get no's. They tell me no. Mm. Uh, I have um, girls that look like you already. Now I know. Whoa. <laughs> I know I girls don't have a twin, like so I don't know what you're saying. But yeah. you know, when you get to the more lighter complexion, no. Let me politically say it. When you get to the Caucasians, mm-hmm. and the Caucasians literally look at us and say we all look alike. Mm-hmm. But when you look at them, I see the same thing. That's right. Mm-hmm. Like I can't tell Sally from from. Sally Mae from <laughs> Ashley from Katie. I can't tell the difference until I physically look at how they present themselves. If they all got blonde hair and they turn around, who's who? Right. Mm. But we turn around, you can tell. Yeah. You see <laughs> what I'm saying? Absolutely. Because we have differences about ourselves. Mm. They do too, but not to say that, but they they constantly say at the agencies that I do go to, without naming any of them, we have girls that look like you already. Mm-hmm. And that's I said, okay, that's simple. fine. Thank yeah. you. Okay, they have, the, the, I mean, they have yeah. the one black one. But they got the one black. And I the check, token. I do my research. <laughs> they don't really know how much research a lot of the models do. But I do my research. I go onto their websites. I check and I count literally each black model that they have that has a similar look that I have. Mm-hmm. And then I go in there and I duplicate that. And I duplicate it in a different way. And then I mm-hmm. say, okay, this is me. 
mm-hmm. they say we have people that look like you. And then when I say to them, what do you mean by that? Well, we don't want you to compete against them if a client calls and say we want this kind of girl. I thought the whole world was about competition. Mm, it absolutely sounds like is. a weak experience. So, Especially but, in that Yeah, field. so I don't, I don't really know. I'm bringing yeah, you yeah. money, regardless right. of the fact. You, yeah. you bring me on. I'm supposed to get the gigs. I'm bringing you money. If you don't put me out there, how are you going to get the money? Right. That's so, true. So what I mean, y- y'all got one white girl too, like no. And I mean, at the time, they were also signing this other girl who came from from Germany, mm-hmm. and it's it's who you know. It's networking. Right. It's not what you know. Um. Yes, I'm educated. Yes, I'm knowledgeable about certain things. I'm not, um, completely engaged in every single thing that I want to be engaged in. But I teach myself, and I learn from my experiences. A lot of these agencies, they just don't gravitate to a certain look. Mm. Until that's what's trending. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. I had long hair down my back, and I walked into an agency, and they told me that I don't have a high fashion look. Now, I don't know what they were talking about, so I stopped and I waited until all of the people left, and everybody was like, "Oh, if you don't make it, then I ain't got no chance." And these are white folks, these are Hispanics, <laughs> sure. these, these are all these kind of people are coming up to me in the agency, telling me if you don't make it, I don't have no chance. So then I left, I let everybody leave and I asked the person, what do you mean by high fashion? They said, well, uh, Naomi Campbell look. And I said, well, my hair is actually real and it's longer than Naomi Campbell's <laughs> wig. So I'm trying to figure out what's high fashion. <laughs> they couldn't tell me. They right. was like, well, I'm not saying if you cut your hair, you should cut your hair. Yes, I've cut my hair after two years of being there because I had transitioned into something different. Not because they told me to cut my hair, but at the end of the day, when I walked to them with my hair cut, they're like, uh, well, we're not really, uh, you stuttering? You all right? Do I intimidate you by standing up in front of you? I gave you exactly what you needed. You mm. get, you asked for a high fashion. I gave you high fashion pictures. You told me I was too commercial. I also gave you commercial pictures. Plus, I gave you fitness pictures because that's where you geared me to fitness and commercial. Mm. And modeling, I'm not fitness and commercial modeling. Mm. I mean, I'm fit, but I can do both. I can do all three. Mm. Um, I'm going more high fashion, but I had to remember, I'm putting myself in a bubble. I'm allowing these people to tell me no, 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 mm-hmm. when this is not even the market for high fashion. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's just you doing your research. You're going to get all these no's, but then you're going to get these 9-9 agencies that's not a real agency where it's a school and they charge you. Mm-hmm. I knew it. Yeah. I so it. they keep calling you, you and texting you. They keep <laughs> yeah, calling you Yeah, but I never went. They always send emails. <laughs> they hey, send water reschedule? Yeah, water reschedule. Hey, they, keep seven, wow. they keep doing it. I didn't know it. They keep doing it. Why are you edging me on? Like nobody blowing up my phone. We ain't in a relationship. Don't text me like this. Don't don't call me like this type of thing. So those you got to check out those. Those are like schools. They want you to come in and pay for this and pay for that and all that mm. extra stuff. But that doesn't make any sense to me. Wow. They, they so you got to watch out for that. They take advantage that there's no like real set avenue for people. Right. Yeah. We're trying to go these routes. Yeah. It's the Instagram. To, yeah. And they it's try Instagram. To, they try to scam people. Yeah. They try to yeah, pray on It's them. a lot. Pray on the people who are innocent because mm-hmm. they're not knowledgeable about what's going on. Or, I mean, Tyra Banks have spoken about it and mm-hmm. I've also tried out for the um, Tyra Banks um, shows. I, I literally had to analyze myself as a person. As hungry as I wanted, I can't be ignorant. Mm-hmm. And as hungry as you want it, you can't be ignorant to the fact that there are con artists out there Mm -hmm. and they're going to constantly target you. You got to question yourself. If this person is uh, constantly hitting me up, constantly hitting me up and saying, yes, yes, yes. What is it that they're saying? Yes, yes, yes. About Mm -hmm. what is it that they're saying that I have this? I have this, but I haven't seen it within myself. You got to make sure you do the work and be be respectful to yourself and your craft and understand and be honest. Mm-hmm. I'm not there yet, so I don't know why this person is calling me. Mm-hmm. A lot of people get hit up on Instagram, but Instagram, there's mm-hmm. Instagram models and there's real models. There's yeah. Instagram models Indeed. and there's real models. They're not fake models. They're still models. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, we're all real. Mm-hmm. It's just what you're catering to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was actually, since you're coming on, I was looking it up and uh, I realized how broad the spectrum of, of modeling is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, there's there's fitness modeling, there's mm-hmm. runway modeling, yep. mm-hmm. there's high fashion modeling, yep. there's print modeling, mm-hmm. there's um, what, commercial more? modeling. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's it's a wide array of things where. And then even it, more is hand modeling. Yeah, it's hand, you know? it's yeah. hand, it's hand, it's feet modeling, modeling. Like, it's, it's teeth modeling, it's a lot of things. Shoulder modeling. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of different I've things. Got, they got weenus models. Hair models, it's a lot of different things. And that's what makes people accessible to everything. If they understand what they're trying to go into, and understand that there is a realm for you. You just have to pick it. 
Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Identify it and then keep going for it and market yourself off mm-hmm. of that because you're your own brand. It's a hundred, it's hundreds and thousands and millions of people watching your Instagram, regardless mm-hmm. they like it or not. Because you're gonna have haters who just, oh, I'm gonna see you do that, All right, now. <laughs> <laughs> and don't like your stuff. But True. you have to really, really focus on your Instagram and see is this marketable? Is this what I want to put out? You got young people watching your stuff. That's What's that? What's that little girl name that that was on Doctor Phil? Oh, no, no. Doctor <laughs> Phil, and she got famous off of Doctor Phil. I ain't going. Listen. You oh, you talk about Cash Me Outside? Yeah, you can come oh, for me if you no. want to. You can come no. for me if you want to. But cash I'm just saying that's bad not baby. real, and it's not. <laughs> yeah, you bad, know bad like, baby. No, no, and no, then that. a lot of kids are thinking that's how you get it. Like, mm, talk to nah. your people a certain kind of way, or give you this platform a certain kind of way, like, or I want to be. Yeah, I've, it's I've, a problem. Yeah, that's why. I've, that's why they worry about that. That's why the term is viral. It's like a yeah. virus. It yeah. catches yeah. on, it <laughs> spreads, and it ruins yeah, people. Yeah, but look when how much was... money they putting into her. Yeah. When now she at... rapping, cat in the hat, dog chase rat, and da 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 like, yeah. what? That might have been better. And everybody's yeah. like, it's hit. That might have been better. That's all it is. It's a mentality. She might, like, she might hit your DM. Oh, like, I hit my right DM. All right, right, baby girl. You don't want it. No, no. I want to ghostwriter. Yeah. No, but like that's how this... That's how society is now. Like they, they push certain things. Well, it's definitely it, it, no. It's not even that. It's, it's just it's just like the come up and the blow up is so quick. Yeah. Because you know it's from mm-hmm. Doctor Phil to the Grammys. Yeah. Because everything God is shock forbid. value, clout chasing. You want to have a, a shocking reaction to something. You know? People society. like watching disrespect. I mean, how many of y'all watch fight compilations? No. No, I don't explicitly <laughs> go and watch them, but, but if you it, end if up I there scroll past it, I'm like, get stuck let me see. No, but it's not just talking there's about that. There's a market for that. You know mm. what I'm saying? But why? Well, that's because they See, made that's it. Not they new, made though. a market for that because whoever's watching it, you getting all this audience member watching it. They mm. have to now mm. get residuals from it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If it's if it's a pair of shoes that everybody's like, yo, I have to have it. People are gonna start buying it. Mm-hmm. Not to mention the subliminal messages that we have from the sound waves, from from radio, from television, whatever you see, from whatever you hear, it's mm-hmm. all that stuff that, that gravitates to you. It stores in the back of your head, oh, I want that now, or I used to want that, or oh, let mm-hmm. me watch this. Oh, that happened. You know, it's a lot mm-hmm. of that. So right. I'm sitting here listening to this little girl and I'm just like, it's a waste of my energy. I felt mm-hmm. dumber. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, nothing against her. I feel like she's the talented individual if she figures out what she wants to be talented about mm. or what <laughs> but i don't hey. think that her lyrics and stuff like that um i don't want to use her catchphrase but if that if this is what's mm. going to have her in my dm which i hope not because i would nah, ignore yeah. it you know what i'm saying but that catch me outside stuff is stupid yeah. you know yeah. but these young folks see that and they're looking up to catch me outside and yeah. so they're going outside really yeah. trying to catch somebody outside it's mm-hmm. burning outside right yeah. now you and know? also and trying to go outside they, gave and a, fight. they gave a platform and that, yeah. like, mm-hmm. that's what i wanted to because my theory is that they purposefully push a certain um ideology or uh, like an idea on mm-hmm. us mm-hmm. so when certain people they'll they'll give them a platform because when you look at like even when you log on to snapchat and stuff like that you see these publications like the savage pose mm-hmm. or the, they all they always push when takashi mm-hmm. whatever the fuck was mm-hmm. out it was mainly them like you go on social media they, everybody got an article and it was always like who is this it. guy? Did it right. I'm like, don't act, yeah. you're the one pushing him. Yeah. Yeah. Don't act stupid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who's this, this guy? Ass word. Who's this guy blowing up out of nowhere? Yeah. I don't know. You're the one telling motherfuckers yeah. about him. You exactly. Know what I'm yeah, man. And also, that no, no, that's 100%. that's so right. Industry plants. Well, no, absolutely. That's a I'm real not, thing. You I'm can't like, convince me otherwise. Word. Without this article of yours, I would have never, never known. known you can't. Who was yeah. yeah. And, oh. But you sensationalize it with your verbiage. You know, it's just like, who is this man? It's like. It triggers you like, oh, I want to. Who is that? Yeah. Like, I, um, it's definitely a hook. For a quick second, we play devil's advocate because you're you're 100 percent right. But I feel like it's always been like that in media, them pushing violence and stupidity and my, sure. wait, 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 with, with my drain and stuff. But mm-hmm. for some odd reason, since the internet has become what it is now, Twitter, Facebook, all that, it's just it's just a different spotlight on. It's just amplified because. This shit has been going on. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. But the internet just puts this twist on it, makes it more it's, sinister. It's, yeah. But it's the same shit. Mm-hmm. It's shit our parents were looking at and be like, oh, that happened in so-and-so. Mm-hmm. But when it's on the internet, oh, this is the biggest so-and-so since so-and-so. Well, yeah, it's just it's more effective right. now. Yeah, it no, it's way more effective because everybody has it. Everybody has access to Google and a phone and to apps and all mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Everybody. So, what? You hear that echo? 
Yes, yes, I do. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I hear it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but um, yeah, because it's so easily accessible. Mm-hmm. Sorry, there's literally when I was working at that retail shop, I'm not gonna mention because fuck them. <laughs> um, they used to have, have old people. Mm-hmm. I'm talking no about. More. Say it again. They don't even exist no more. We're they not don't. Yeah, they exactly. really don't. So it was so radio. For that shit. <laughs> 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 I, I literally used to have fuck old people radio in radio walkers shit. and canes mm-hmm. that need to help sitting down buying an iPad. Buying an iPhone, what do you need this for? Mm, you might not use it past next week. It's not necessarily week. they you don't know. need it. They do technically need it because everything is evolving. Without that, they will be stuck in the past. Yeah, I absolutely. understand that. You're yeah. right. But there's certain... All right, for instance, I'm not saying I won't sell an old person a smartphone. Mm-hmm. I sell them a certain one. Mm-mm. You I'm should. not going to say, because you got to give them that Just chance. Just upgrade them. <laughs> no, no. You upgrade them within their realms. Like I'm not saying they can't have a smartphone, but have a smartphone for someone like them. Would That's you like assess saying. them? Like, of course, see how a good salesman always assesses customers. Mm. I mean, I mean, who said you were a good salesman? Uh, I mean, company I, numbers, it, it, <laughs> <laughs> promotions. I, mean, I get it. I get it. To be honest, I do get it. But you guys gotta understand if it's trending. Making money off that's, it's going to That's how it is, unfortunately. That is yeah. what it is. But before, we had the Nokia phone with the snake. That Y'all need to bring that back. Man. Oh, <laughs> that was the most fun in the world. That's bro. the <laughs> best game. Or where is Waldo? Bring bring them two back. <laughs> <laughs> bring those two back. When but, you get to the point where you just... Right. <laughs> all of that. Only pros know. That's how you do it. But <laughs> promo, you, nowadays, Big because we have, we have the television and it... We have the Netflix, the Hulu, and mm-hmm. we have all this extra stuff. You got to remember that when we did this back in the days, it was through the movies. Yes. Yeah, we had That's to actually what we got, go yeah. out. And it was the movies that was really yeah. showing the negativity about Absolutely. even our stereotypes of African-Americans or Caribbean descendants. Mm-hmm. We literally were showing the bad parts when we went to the islands, or we were showing mm-hmm. the drug side, or mm-hmm. we were showing the hood side, or we were showing the hood or the ghetto Mm -hmm. um people have to know that the ghetto is a place and not how you act but okay Mm -hmm. and again i'm not i'm not gonna teach nobody Mm -hmm. yeah you already teach you already Mm -hmm. teach (laughs) and that definitely touches Mm -hmm. more on what you were saying about things being amplified now because the internet it's Mm -hmm. like uh, to, to dig a little deeper, it's not just, it's amplified because it's everywhere. There's an oversaturation of oh, yeah, just yeah, promotion yeah. of low quality entertainment, mm-hmm. period. Right. Or, I mean, yeah, low quality or whatever you want to call it. I mean, there could be a high quality edit of a bullshit fight. Well, but at, at, the same, <laughs> and, at the same time, it's like, yeah, it's 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 completely everywhere okay. now and it's oversaturating. And it's um, it, it ties right back into what you were saying, Tawana, that, you know, kids begin to believe that this is the way to be. It's reality. Like, this is reality. This is yeah. how we should be. And, yeah, exactly. They think that that's what's on the reality. That's from reality TV shows that's not real. That's mm-hmm. that's all scripted. But, of mm-hmm. course, it looks so authentic. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's the, it's what is terrible. it called? The black Hollywood that's not really black Hollywood. Um, it's it's what they it's think It's what they think black is people, black people yeah, do. do it's, right. But that came from Friday. Mm-hmm. That movie Friday, that came from some of the Medea movies, that came from mm-hmm. a lot of the stereotypes that um, Caucasians, Hispanics, um, even some Caribbean descendants thought mm-hmm. that this is how we act. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or this is how it's publicized that we act like this without mm-hmm. seeing that we can be successful individuals in mm-hmm. a suit and still Absolutely. that ass if we right. need to, right. you know? Right. <laughs> in, 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 def- in defense of Friday, there oh, were a couple, yeah, no, I felt <laughs> a certain there, way. There were a couple. There was some positive black representation in Friday. No, it well, was even in the first one. You mm-hmm. had, I mean, they they made them look like cornballs, like Buddy the neighbor. Yeah, had yeah, who tripped over the microwave. Mm-hmm. He was like, guys, please don't step on my mm-hmm. freaking yeah. grass. It showed. It like, showed all yeah. the realms. Like mm-hmm. when we had a different world, it showed all the realms. Mm-hmm. We had True. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. It mm-hmm. showed all the realms. But then we had this gap where it was just nothing but drama. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, we're watching Love and Hip Hop. I'm uh, sorry. Religious. But nah, it's an issue. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. When you had Stevie J having multiple women, that's another issue. And then now yeah. everybody's like, oh, well, that was my fantasy from day one. And da 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 da. It's a <laughs> whole thing. Okay, like, right, it okay. really and then it, it, he's doing it, and it's all right that he's doing it. Now everybody sure. else is doing it. This is where you get the violence from. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because now what was, and even from like, 
um, the homosexual community. That wasn't exposed as well. So now all this stuff is being exposed. People are actually gravitating to this. Now they're opening their closets, their doors, I don't know, their car trunks, whatever baggage <laughs> that they tried to, to open it up. And they opening it up and it's like, oh, I want, you know, multiple women or I want multiple men or I want to be sexual with this type of gender mm. or I want to look like this type of gender. It's mm. just like a whole bunch of stuff that just unfolded. Now right. you have all these people who have um, different things going on and subliminal messages going through kid start sound waves and right. and from parents and and people have these phobias and people are like oh well this is going on and people killing people because you cheated on me or sent this text message in her mm-hmm. dm or something mm-hmm. and it's that's the problem mm-hmm. we exposed it it was that we had this innocence at one point in yeah. time and now we don't even on the news all the news that is there sorry for all the news stations i've been in it News is not new. No, right. Mm-hmm. It's old news. Mm-hmm. Until it's breaking news, it's old news. So you're yeah. getting just the the end of the stick, mm-hmm. and you're getting the information that they want to give you. Right now, because we got Trump, ugh. Mm-hmm. Now we got Trump. He tweets and does everything that he possibly do, and he'll tell you at that moment what's going on. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So at that point, it's no no blinds that we have. Mm, we're exposed yeah. to everything because we're just open. Mm. No one wants to have that privacy life where I'm. I'm a freak in the sheets type stuff. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, I'm a lady it, yeah. in the streets, and you know and the, that's how it's supposed to go. So streets, everybody's out there doing everything. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it, that's it. Yeah, no every, one's hiding nothing. Yeah, yeah, everybody doesn't need to know or see everything. Right, privacy so is an essence. Yeah. Learn that. And it, it started with um, like there was a running joke on social media that niggas. Take pictures of guns and drugs and everything. Like y'all just, yeah, I'm just yeah. letting you know I'm packing down the street from right. right. I'm gonna let you know I'm packing down the street from Kmart and I want you to come because I'm on 56 and 12. <laughs> and wild. you know, and then you you surprised when somebody come knocking on your door tapping with an AK7. Like oh oh oh, <laughs> oh why, why nah, you came to get me? Cloud. Yeah, it was yeah. just a cloud. It was just a cloud. I'm sorry. What are you bro. doing? You and know I ain't like that, bro. That stay <laughs> happening. <laughs> yeah, you it get people get caught up off IG. They didn't learn. When Kim Kardashian had her situation where she was mm. overseas and they came and put her gunpoint and was like finna kill her. This girl, her whole life changed. How she right. used things changed. You can tell she don't wear the certain accessories anymore. Right. Like she mm. literally changed. So something has to ha- something bad has to happen to you for you to realize. Don't be putting everything on social media. <laughs> right. Yes, yeah, some people. Yeah. What, what's the what's, hard headed always gotta feel it to believe it? What, what's well, when, what we gotta do mm-hmm. as a people is stop gratifying certain shit. Mm-hmm. Right. Stop giving people shit attention. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, huh? yeah. stop the violence. Stop the stop violence. The violence. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> AKA. But right. Right. In other words, as my grandfather used to say, it's just just ignore the shit. You know what I'm saying? Even the, what what the dude name? Um, Boom Gang. There's absolutely zero reason he should have been famous. Yeah. One at most yeah. one of his videos maybe I'll give one of his videos going I'm gonna tell you I always watch that. He, got a, he made a whole career of that shit. Anybody who is famous off of whatever, it's their journey. I don't care how we see it, I don't care if it's a right or wrong to it or how mm. we believe it. You gotta understand there's a higher being above. Mm. And I mean, I if don't the know. universe and is what it judge. is, we're not the but ones that judge if the person tripped on their sandals down the stairs and <laughs> they broke their whole neck and got back up and was all right and cracked it back in place and then now they're viral and now they got hella money. I but it's I see, now I would, at the same would, time no, I would I at would. the same time you're right. Mm-hmm. But if you're gonna um be in entertainment, expect critiques. He knows or he had some kind of cause it was no accident. Cause mm-hmm. he had yeah. a, he had filming every time. So the fact that he knew that filming himself stealing shit would garner attention is a mm-hmm. problem. People shouldn't feel like that's an avenue. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we make too much bullshit an avenue. Like bullshit is literally an avenue mm-hmm. to get famous. Yeah. And then yeah. there's different types and, of bullshit. But, <laughs> but, and, 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 and you could come out with your bullshit and be like, hey, I have, a, I have an album, but then the album trash, but because they know you for the bullshit. But you boot game, right. though. Yeah. But you yeah. boot and, that, and, that, and that's yeah. exactly yeah. and that's, that's exactly how the looking point. At it. But that's exactly the point because I mean I, I, I see both sides. Like, yeah, the, their life is their life. The way they got famous, that's their that's avenue. It. Um, but we still, you know, you, as individuals, you can still feel the way you want to feel. But mm-hmm. that's all based on accountability. Like, it's you, you feel, hold up, you feel the way, you feel the way that you feel based on how you were raised and your morals and your ethics. 
but you don't know how Boone Gang was raised. Wait, so, hold on. Oh, let me, I'm oh, just saying. Just <laughs> we were just having a conversation how problematic this shit. <laughs> no, no, no. I just said, you know, this shit is problematic. That's what I want. No, it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> All of a sudden, y'all switching up. It's like, well, hey, no, you yo, can't judge no, that. No, no, no. Wait, no. No, let me finish my statement because y'all jumping. Nah, you jump into something because what I'm saying is you have to look at everything and you have to pa- unpack things all the time. So you're like your our reaction, our typical. Because when I watch, because I'm on your side, like I watch his, I watch his IG videos, and I would have the most confused look on my face all the time. Like, why is this happening in real life? <laughs> like, why is this a thing that he's getting all these likes and this attention off of? At the same time. You didn't experience his it. life. You and it, it is partly so, because we're but I'm just start. I'm starting from I'm there not, first. I'm not talking about him. Yeah, I'm talking about us. No, but no, so, that's what I'm saying. Up, I, so we what I'm saying is, we start with him first because he's the one that's putting that on into the universe, right? And we are, and we or you know the population at large are the ones accepting it and absorbing it. But yeah. at the same time, we're we can't it. say. Although there should be a certain level of accountability if we thought Boot Gang shared our ethics, but what if he doesn't? Like, then how do you get your point across to but people it, like that? It is what I'm trying to say, because saying we need to cut out that bullshit is a little, uh, it's reducing. It's like it, it kind of, it, it takes away from the complication of what's act, what the actual climate is. Of, if you get well, what I'm saying? Well, I'm not saying, well, I, give, gonna, I can give a fuck about him. <laughs> My whole thing is we're going to have some people who don't got no sense because mm, common yeah. sense is not common. Lord but what I'm you. saying is that as a whole, we as people as a whole have to stop accepting it. Mm, We're right. the ones who like to like to like to like to mm, like like mm. repost, 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 exactly. repost. Mm-hmm. We need to stop doing that. Mm-hmm. But because we like drama and mm-hmm. we ain't got nothing else going on in our lives, mm. we tend to do that. You gravitate mm. to what you want to gravitate to. You thought it was funny. But half of the time it's not even us that's reposting it. Mm. It's, it's not children. It's it's it's, it's random people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but sometimes but you know, but you know it's, it is. it's different like, races that's reposting it just that, because they're like this person a fool. Let me they're laughing at us. And so oh, absolutely. This, this sure. is definitely a joke. So this is how people get that money. Mm. You know, um, that's um, a sidebar. That's part of the reason Chappelle left his show. Mm, you feel right. like people are laughing at him and not and at not him. Not with him. Yeah. yeah. Also, um, uh, to bring it back to the bad baby thing and what you're talking about mm-hmm. now. Obviously, white people have this way that they stereotypically view black people. They view black women as the hey girlfriend type thing. Yeah. Or Unfortunately, or the over, or the over like sexualized. Or the oversexualized. Yeah. Or they view the black man as, you know, the brood and ultra violent, ultra violent criminal, yeah. this and the third. Mm-hmm. Also over sexualized. So what they do, they take our stereotypes that they banished us for and dragged us through the mud. And try to use it on themselves. Absolutely. Yeah. Bad Baby is a fantastic example of that. Uh, yeah, for sure. You don't like those ratchet black women, but when someone who, she, I don't even think she's white, she's probably it's Cuban, a, someone who even remotely white. looks white, yeah. does it. Oh, she's, she's well, groundbreaking. She's so different. Da, 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 blah, blah. No, it's, it's just... It's the same effect of like seeing Eminem rap his ass off though, like for the first mm-hmm. time. Like, oh my Hold god, on. this white Hold person. On, no. is I like doing Eminem. This. Okay, okay. Calm down, calm no, no, it's a bad <laughs> example. No, 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 it's a bad <laughs> example. I don't know. No, no, no. Explain yourself. No, 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 it's not no, because it's still appropriation this is at the core. Hold on, let me let me defend you real quick. <laughs> it's not a it's not a bad example, because I'm not taking anything from Eminem. Mm-hmm. But you ask any white boy who their favorite rapper is, Eminem, why? You know what I'm saying? No. They see them so All right, no. who's your favorite they, they, NASCAR they, they, driver? They, they, I mean, they, um, Formula One driver, Lewis Hamilton. But <laughs> what's right? the difference? No, but you, no, but I'm I'm making a point. No, right. but that's the same Hold point. On, no, no, wait, that's wait, the right, same right. point. They see would, somebody that looks like them in this avenue, so they gravitate. And to no, them. wait, I do want to make a point. Um, bad baby, whatever, baby, ba- baby bottle, whatever she want to be called. <laughs> baby back <laughs> um, <ribs>. Right. <laughs> I'm not Maybe saying back. that she doesn't naturally talk like that. I'm not saying that she doesn't naturally um, act like that. I don't know. Because all of us, even though all of us are here, there's some um, people in Africa that are our complexion, the people in Africa that are white complexion, and they mm. talk the same kind of way. Mm. I can't say she's not hood. I can't say that. Can't say that. I, no, I can't no. say that. But I can say the way that she portrays it, is ignorant. Mm. That's the point I'm making. I'm not. I'm. So you I, know what I, I was trying to say though. No, I, so this is. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let well, me articulate better. Let me articulate okay, better. Go ahead, go, ahead, go, ahead, go ahead. What that is is purely the reaction of a person. No, don't think too deep into this. It's oh shit! It's a white person doing something I normally see a black person do. They sound black. 
They what they move what the black. Like no, what no, the I'm saying like no. Like I'm I'm saying from this person. Oh, okay. I'm throwing up the clothes. Yeah, all right. Y'all know it sounds black. Don't act like that with me. I ain't wait, wait, wait. No, because I've always I've always been told you sound white. So really? I'm trying to figure out what it is. And I've been told that too. Well, I've been told is, that growing up. There is a talking so, white and talking black. So we'll explain so that. It's <laughs> so it's basically, I'm throwing up the air quotes for y'all in audio land. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> basically, like hearing someone who, quote, sounds black, but is their phenotype, they look white genetically, then it is it is <laughs> no, but it is no shocking sound. to some people. I can't hear the but sound. See, okay. No, but what I'm saying see, is it's it's, it's the same because it's shocking to people. White white people get credit for doing black things. It's the same reason you might. But wait, see, wait, wait! I'm well, going to talk on that. But that's Why not does it black, have to be well, a black thing? No, but li- like well, well, catch well, me outside was no, definitely no, said by a black person yeah, first. Any, any, first of all, that one is that one is thing. Anytime, like a white person. Kind of like I won't even say is in our space mm-hmm. doing things that within our space, whether it's genuine or not, it gets more attention naturally. That's why when um, if white they do it du- seemingly well, word that's when so white dudes join black frats and you see them strolling like it goes viral yeah. off, off rip. So you know true. what I'm saying? There's twenty other niggas strolling probably better, but. There's this white dude going viral because he's a white dude doing no. strolling. Yeah, yeah. And I feel and like strolls good. It's next, because it's because it's not it's not seen. So it's anything not seen. that's not seen It's abnormal. It's abnormal, mm-hmm. so they pay attention to it more. Exactly. It's not that we think that the Caucasian should not be in there or the Hispanic should not be in there. It's, I actually prefer a multicultural look. Or, but, I've dealt with diversity. Mm-hmm. So me saying hearing them say, Oh, you speak white. Mm-hmm. I don't. I tell them I don't know what the hell you talking mean? about. What are you talking about? Because to mm-hmm. me, I feel like when it happens, when it happens that way, we embrace them, and that's good. Who embrace them? We like white people. Like when Eminem raps, when I think whatever. Eminem sounds normal. No, no, he me, sound black. No, me too. But no, the point I'm making is they can, they can. But he dressed black. Well, the point <laughs> is I'm making they can, um, they can elevate within our realms mm-hmm. and not have a problem. Where you have a uh, Serena Williams wants to play tennis, all the attention is on her now. But then she gets faced with criticism, if because she thick, everything, right. everything. But if let you, that be you, a white girl. But if it was a white girl that was thick and had the same body structure, they will say the same thing. No, no, it's everything. I think it would if, be. If, if Serena, I think they'd more be an amazing. If, if Serena Williams <laughs> pump her fist, look after, how much form she has. Listen, <laughs> no, no, listen, because I see it. Because I, I pay attention to these type of sports. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they got. Like, even because y'all brought up Lewis Hamilton. If Lewis uh-huh. Hamilton sneeze, like, the oh, whole the whole um, sporting <laughs> world, um, the whole motorsport world is up in an uproar. Mm. You know what mm. I'm saying? It's like, so when we do things that normally they do, the attention is there, but it's more of a scrutiny. For sure. When they do stuff that we do, the attention is there, but it's more of a fascination. It's- yeah, that, so that's the point I was so that, yeah, that's that, that's the main yeah. point I make. And that's the point I was making. It doesn't matter who it is. If you're white and you're doing something that's perceived as black, well, it's interesting to a lot of people, and it's gonna be promoted in some. Form. I want to know who came up with um, what we do is different from what they do. Oh, them. Well, the I mean, they control honestly, the media, so it's them. <laughs> no, well, no, I, I mean, mean, just naturally. because if you guys literally travel over the world, you will see a different light. Yeah, I mean, it's, di- it's no, different in other but countries. But let's not let's not sure. pretend that there are, there, there are, are some people who do things. But if I put on the same wig that wig that Kim Kardashian puts on, we are going to look similar. It's because the color of my skin it looks different. It's very similar. Like if you go to the store and you try on a white pair of shoes and there's another white pair of shoes, but it's a cream, it looks different. Mm-hmm. Yes, everything is going to look different. But what? Hmm. What made us identify that this is ours and this is theirs? It's not an ours well, or theirs. It's just space. Well, certain well, things well, hold on. It's we just, invented. Well, hold on. Wait, <laughs> we wait, all about to ask. I'm not saying everything, but certain right. things well, well, hold on. is a black person mm-hmm. thing. Certain things are. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about what's that, theirs or ours. I'm talking about spaces people typically occupy. So it's like. Well, who told us that was our space? It's, they don't, nobody has to tell us. We have to open our eyes. But who told us that wasn't their space? What? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? <laughs> so like, what I'm 
I'm saying is, what I'm no, saying I get what she's saying. I'm saying NFL. I'm trying to figure NFL out put, who gave us nobody. This okay, so I get what that you. says that this is ours mm-hmm. and this is she, ours because it, it's and certain, they can't have this or when they do this, it's different. It's just it's it's very it's it's like a to me it's like fashion. If I start something mm-hmm. and then somebody who has somebody who has more start something, it's going to be publicized there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If Mm -hmm. even if I wear the same thing that somebody who has money wears, I'm not going to get the same type of look. I'll get the look because, oh, she might have money, Mm -hmm. but I won't get the look like, oh, that's good. We need to go buy it because she wore it. Mm -hmm. Now, if it's me and another and, and me and my Caucasian friends and we're there and we're wearing the same thing, I don't see I'm not seeing maybe I'm just so open that I try not to see color. Well, I mean, you can do but you do uh, like agree that there are certain spaces that black people occupy more than white people and vice versa. I just I it's not necessarily on, agree. I notice that we we create certain things as a whole. But at the same time, a lot of people who are ignorant to the fact that there are white and Hispanics and different races in Africa. Africa is not all black. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. And those people wear the same things as the black people and not looked different. Mm-hmm. But that's not the point. I, I think I get, I think from what you're trying to say is like, what defines black? What defines white? Like, yeah. there's not some sort of set definition yeah. of this is... However, the I think society at large gen, generalizes a lot of things That's because you might see a large population of black people or what you've seen, the representation of black people you've seen in this. It's only been a couple years since we've had the internet the way it is. Like right. mm-hmm. the, the version of black that we've seen over media, that one or two avenues of media has been like a very small, small snippet of what actually is the representation or what it actually is to be black which it's actually just being a human we go through particular experiences that a majority of other races skin colors tend to not go through mm-hmm. because they're not they weren't put in that situation historically so some of our behaviors are going to be unique yeah, period i agree with however that. a lot of our behaviors can be adapted by, by others other people, by the yeah. environment there's also, yeah. and now as time goes on and communities integrate, you know, we always got like that one crazy white boy in the neighborhood. Oh, or yeah. Some shit yeah. Like that. And shout as, out. We know who he is. Yeah, man. <laughs> exactly. And shout out, shout out to my nigga RIP. But um, it, that, that, that's kind of how it goes. Like through time, things change. I think in the last few years, things have changed a lot yeah, drastically, quicker. Drastically. But you just want to say something. No, but that, that was my point. Because when you, even when you said, oh, mm-hmm. you got that one white boy in the neighborhood, like, mm-hmm. Like even like you 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 notice him because he's in right. a space that's tough. And but then, oh, I was just trying to clarify. But then, but then let, let's not on. flip it to be like <laughs> we act like it doesn't exist. Right. I think I think you both are kind of saying the same thing, but the way you look at it is a little different yeah. because you don't want to have this label put on you I as think, I think this is a black thing. I think while having, with your perspective I think we're having is like two different um, conversations. I feel like I'm making a point, but then. Like I feel like um, you're making a. I understand the point that you're making, but the point that I'm going with that is like it's not even like it. We we know we're cognizant of the fact that um, a lot of things are a social construct in terms of race and and how we feel about race. Mm-hmm. But then we also know that um, through the history, especially with this country, um, there's there's certain avenues and there's certain influences you know what i mean um even when you took when you look at um um typically where our heroes are or where where black kids see success because mm-hmm. usually that's where they gravitate to mm-hmm. usually you might see so that's why i bring up stuff like i brought up stuff like tennis formula one as a put to juxtapose the football or the ba- you know the basketball cause or the rapping to kind of show you to kind of give you the comparison is like okay here's a black person doing what typically white people do and mm-hmm. this is a response and this is what 
a white person t- doing typically what black people do, and this is a response. Mm-hmm. And there's a difference in that response. Yeah, absolutely. Right. That's absolutely. the only point I'm mm-hmm. making. Okay. And, oh, no, I guess she and just wanted true. an explanation. I just of, wanted yeah. to know why we identified as what they do and what we don't do. Because it, it's, do. A, it's the reality. Because <laughs> we, we, we don't see, unfortunately, we don't see too many Serena Williams. And well, like here in the now. United States, That's United what, States yeah. is small minded. Oh, I didn't finish my in thought. In Canada, it's a whole nother <laughs> ball game, and Europe yeah. is a whole nother ball game. That's why I'm a little bit more open Wonder, but that's new. mindset. But that's well, new. it's it's more so yeah. like I think she's because your perspective is different once you travel. Like things are drastically different once you go into another. Yeah. I mean, I'm there are even, a lot of the same struggles. Yeah, like but trust me. At first, I'm, I'm, like I'm from you know, I'm from a place where my dentist, my doctor, my prime minister is black. Yeah. So, no, I understand. But what she's saying is like you probably haven't been to Rome. You probably haven't been to like all these different places to see. Like it's a different perspective once you travel and see the difference. Mm-hmm. You'll still, as black and brown people, experience a lot of the same things. But things are a little bit different out there. And I think it's more of like, this is what I'm understanding from how you Mm -hmm. are um, expressing um, your thoughts is that I I think overall it's a good idea to try to change the narrative or the the way that you um, approach that situation. So to say, so to say that's black, even though truth by society standards, that's black. If you want to oversimplify the whole situation, you could say bad baby talks black. Well, but let's, in let's, actuality, it's like she talks with Ebonics mm, or yes, correct. but That's and true. she might have learned that from some black friends. For all we know, she live in a trailer park with white people that, that act class, black. So it it's like, a, <laughs> well, what is black then? Because mm. we all have the ability to behave this way, to mm. talk this it's way. Not a specific so it's color. like, yeah, we brought it out. But um, I get what you're saying. And I guess that's a good convers- That's a good ass conversation yeah. to have. Well, Sorry, I had to throw that out there. <laughs> no, but you, you're right. And I don't disagree with you. Yeah. But what I'm saying is it's not even just a, a color thing. It's an economic thing. Because it's like, why why don't we see certain people that look a certain way in certain sports more? Because um, I'll go back to tennis a lot because like, I watch that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's an international sport. Mm-hmm. So I know who's ranked from 1 to 100. And right. it's not a lot of people that look like us. Yeah, but it's not a lot of but, people that look but, like us in golf either, and I wouldn't play golf. But that that's right. But then we, when we look at why, why is that divide there? When we look at how much is it to be trained in tennis? How much is mm-hmm. it? There's that cost divider. And that cost True. divider mm-hmm. is all, also a, a ethnic divider because of the history of our country. I agree so, and disagree with that. Why? Because just get a racket and go outside and play with the ball. You don't necessarily need, we're we're looking too deep into how much money, somebody's going to see you. If you continue to focus on what your talent is and your skill and Mm -hmm. what you love, that energy will come. Mm -hmm. What's for you will come. But also, don't you I understand it is money involved in things, but once the right person sees you after you putting out your heart and soul, everything else will come. I see that. But I also think representation matters. Being able to see because I was like, okay. I was a former track star. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to go to the Olympics. Did I make it to the Olympics? No. I had a white coach. He did not know what the hell he was doing. <laughs> he didn't own you. He did not know. <laughs> I had skills. I had a talent, mm-hmm. and I had to learn the skills. Mm-hmm. And he could not teach me. Right. Mm-hmm. But I had all the essentials. I had the money. Mm-hmm. I had the white coach. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> It would have been crazy it's, if you. The was representation was there. Mm-hmm. The the but opportunity was there, make but it. not everybody's this... going to make it. And my thing is that I don't like track. Hell, I run from a dog or a cat, but I don't like track. <laughs> mm-hmm. So you're I running didn't from cats. You're running from <laughs> some cats now. Black cats mm-hmm. I don't play with. Mm-hmm. What you I'll mean, black, black cats? <laughs> but, <laughs> How you know? So but, like, but, 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 right. I, I, I see. I think that goes to show that being black. Is a multifaceted experience. Yes, first, yes. Of, for all mm-hmm. all around. So we could have this conversation all day, but I think ah, that I think ah, that's ah, about yeah, time. Maybe we could keep chopping. Right, no, oh, no, 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 absolutely. Absolutely. Bring me back. If it's you want to bring me back, you can. Just to want to party. No, no, no. no. We could. De- you could come hang out if you just yeah, want. Yeah, definitely. Y'all play basketball. You play ball? Yeah, 
Oh, it's late. We go back to the I was like, I saw you there. When he brought the basketball, I was like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, come on. We could race outside. I want to race the Nets in. But if you want to play some ball, I got you. But um, before we go, look into the camera, look it out into the internet world, <laughs> <laughs> and tell <laughs> them who you are, where they can find you, and hey who's you who's your mama's favorite podcast. I'm just Tawana, so J U S underscore T A W A N A. Please leave out that O and please leave out that N. You can find me on Instagram if you want to follow me on Snapchat because I am a comedian. I do a lot of different things. I have my whole personality on social media but on snapchat is fashion tawana so you can understand who the heck you're following <laughs> other than that please don't follow my person professional page it's elizabeth tawana do not follow that because i will not add you back. <laughs> but you can follow me on jus underscore t-a-w-a-m-a you see where it is it is what it is i have a great personality i love to enjoy talking to people so you guys catch me another time all right and that's it. Wow. <laughs> that was she, that was, she that wrapped was it awesome. up for Word. us. We're gonna and go ahead and extra, and we're right. gonna quick. go ahead and introduce uh, quick introductions. Mm-hmm. Quick introduction, yes, one time. Dramatic aka Way Chappelle, aka God. Black yeah. Galifianakis, <laughs> aka Loud Pack Trope, you know <laughs> aka Malcolm Vex. <laughs> and it's your boy I see Black, aka Black Dynamite, aka Way Bixby, aka Always Been on Black, aka Afro. Oh man, I never oh, forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, 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 AKA oh, Swiss oh. Army nigga, Swiss Army nigga. Put that bump on. You be Swiss acting like a bomb Army about to go off. No, that's not. No, that's <laughs> got that slap bass. That bro. bomb is Hookin. By the way, shout out Hookin. Word. Left the window closed this time. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> nigga ran straight that nigga the half asleep. Word. You heard that hoot? Half asleep flying through, smoking a spliff. <laughs> and this is Flocka Zulu, aka Nigga Demas, aka Fl- Sir Black Style in the Third, aka Pablo Escovich, aka No More, aka <laughs> Stop, Stop the, the Violence. violence. <laughs> I want all y'all to spill everything that y'all just said. Oh, I, 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 it's in my notebook. I'm done. I'm done. It's in my notebook. <laughs> I can show you. Yeah, it's so in my notebook. <laughs> AKA spell it. You guys, <laughs> J-U-S underscore Tawana or just call me T or Tawana. However, DM me, hit me up. That's about it. AKA hey. just Tawana. And AKA catch next Tawana. week where we'll be interviewing a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. Bye, y'all. This nigga is not going to have the last word. <laughs> <laughs>